Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn and welcome to your tarot love reading. We are going to take a look at the messages coming in for you in relation to love and romance. I guess this reading here is intended, um, I guess is uh, intended for those of you that, you know, you do have a romantic interest in mind um, when I do the reading. We are going to take a look and see whether or not this person, whether he or she will be reaching out and communicating with you. So this reading here is Specifically for those of you that feel in some sort of disalignment or disconnection with your person, if you feel like, you know, this is someone who's emotionally distancing themselves or physically distancing themselves away from you, or someone who's trying to pull themselves away from you or has ghosted you, or, you know, if you feel some sort of disconnection, we'll go ahead and see whether you'll be hearing from this person and what is it that he or she may have to say. Of course, these messages are going to be general, so please just be mindful of that throughout this spread. If you are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here and the show more section, along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. That's Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. And to those of you that are cross-watching as well... have the five of wands the nine of pentacles the nine of cups the three of pentacles the king of pentacles the ten of wands temperance ace of pentacles and the star card here okay um five of wands there's been some sort of resistance or some sort of clashing energies here there may be a clash of the egos with five of wands there's been something here that i feel like has disrupted the flow of your connection here um for some of you you've had some sort of disagreement or some sort of a verbal it could be verbal it could have gone physical for some of you it's like a fight or some sort of division someone he might have uh wedged themselves in between you so it could be someone else a third party situation here um, or it could be that someone he's trying to pull you apart some of you i feel like um, are finding it hard in dealing with this person's parents um, and their differences here towards you for some of you this person is maybe someone who has ghosted you or someone who's pulled away and you know you're dealing with this conflict inside of you here um, as regards to your individual here um, i feel like this person is going Right now, I feel like with their energy, they are focused. They are focusing on themselves with the Nine of Pentacles here, and the Nine of Pentacles tells me that you probably should do the same. There's some sort of conflict within you. I feel like for some of you, there are things that you want to say, that you want to get off your chest, or you guys, you know, you didn't leave things on the on the best note here. You guys have had some sort of fight or disagreement, a verbal disagreement, or some sort of uh, discussion, heated discussion or heated argument here, or you guys just constantly butt heads here. And I feel like the energy field or the energy space in which the two of you are at right now feels a little uncomfortable, feels a little fiery here, a little unsettled. It's probably best with the Nine of Pentacles, it's your energy here, Earth Signs, for you to focus on yourself right now, because I feel like this is what the, your person is doing. Um, they're dis they are distracted heavily with their career. Some of them, I feel like, maybe are a green thumb and are spending or very outdoorsy and do spend a lot of time outdoors. They, are, they do distract themselves with some outdoor activities. Um, this is someone who I feel like you're really invested, right? You're really invested in this individual. Um, you might have, for some of you, I get a sense that you've lost your individuality somewhere in, you know, um, during the duration of this connection you became too codependent on them or they became too codependent on you and you lost that individuality you you know the two of you um were doing just too much together and you just forgot that sense of individualism here now there's something significant with the nine here the nine of cups the nine of pentacles and the ten of wands here with the consecutive numbers um Okay, for some of you, I feel like, look, the Knight of Cups tells me that, you know, you're wanting to, you're wanting for things to work out between the two of you, right? You're wishing to hear from this person, you're wishing that they would communicate, you're wishing that you're able to work, you know, and resolve whatever it is that you need to work on here, you're wishing that you're able to, you know, um, arrive at a better outcome here. Um, so there's this strong, desirous energy that comes with the Nine of Cups. This person may be someone that I feel like you've wished for, um, you know, you've been wishing on for quite some time. They may feel like a wish come true, or this is how you may feel to them as well. 
um, you're not necessarily in alignment with one another and I feel like to me something about the energies feel a little bit imbalanced okay especially with the five of wands here there's this conflict or this strain here that's put on the relationship here three of pentacles tells me that this person is someone here is seeking advice now of course it's your energy here so it could be you you're the one that's trying to seek advice or it's like you're, you're trying to seek um, advice to have your thoughts or your feelings validated or confirmed here. Um, you could be trying to seek advice through uh, family, through friends, through colleagues. It could even be through t uh, like tarot readers or general tarot readings here. Um, but it's like you're trying to look for ways to validate or confirm what it is you're feeling here about this individual it could be that this person is you're talking about them a lot they're on your mind you're talking about you might not even notice but if you ask your friends they may turn around and tell you yeah you've been to, you've been talking about this person a fair bit or you've brought up this person a, a fair bit um you've got a lot of earthly energy here which is good because it's a very stable and committed kind of energy and this tells us that there is a lot of potential within this energy uh within this energy and within this uh connection here a lot of potential for this to be something very you know um a lot stronger than what it is um this person is also i feel like talking about you here to their family or friends or they're trying to seek advice on whether or not they should reach out to you or what it is that they should say here for some of you the three of pentacles also tells me that maybe some of you could be looking at um, getting couples therapy uh or you know even therapy to work on uh each other separately here or together as a couple here okay so it's like it's advice but can also mean like professional advice here okay um, and that might be what salvages here the relationship here now with the king of pentacles i feel like this person is very secure you are dealing with someone who's very secure within themselves i do feel like right now they're really focused on work though i'm not sure whether they're using that as a distraction or this is someone who's just very ambitious someone very, very well read someone who i feel like has really um big and ambitious future or career plans okay so i feel like yeah they, they are they're, fo they're very focused on work trying to generate the income they make that profit uh build up clientele um you know um build up a good re uh reputation here this and speaking of reputation i feel like this person is they value reputation a lot so what their friends say about them it means a lot to them so and what they, your friends say about you also means a great deal to them someone here is shouldering too much i'm not sure if this is you or if this is the person here um it could if it's the person um that you're dealing with it could mean that this person is they only reveal certain things okay so even if they may be talking to their family or their friends about advice on how to proceed with this connection i don't feel like they're going around and you know whispering every little detail that's sort of um, unfolded between the two of you and with regards to their emotions i feel like they keep their cards very close to their chest i feel like they aren't they're not exactly an open book um and i feel like sometimes they may not be very good when it comes to their emotions because they're not emotionally expressive they like to take a logical approach um rather than emotional approach and i feel like this person has been thinking about you here and has been wanting to reach out but i feel like they've been really trying to think about you know think about the right time to do it or the right way in which to do it and they've been trying to seek advice so it's they're not coming from a place of haste or you know um, emotional maturity or they're not coming from this place of you know they're like where they are uh, emotions are running rampant and they feel like oh okay you know they're missing you and so therefore they want to reach out to you it's rather that this person is trying to really get a logical grip here okay because they're, really, they're trying to be really practical about it in which i feel like in which case they typically always are um the ten of wands as well whoever this is make sure you're not over applying or over extending yourself here or this person maybe over applying or overextending themselves it could be that this person is taking on too much at work as a result to sort of distract them uh distract themselves or it could be work might just be very well one of the problems that got you here like this person is just too focused on work and too focused on you know chasing their career ambitions and whilst that's great and very ambitious of them i feel like your relationship with this person fell to the wayside didn't it your relationship sort of suffered in the process here now temperance speaks to us all about balance here so 
the message to you here is everything unfolds in its own time everything comes like in time here okay and you have to go through the motions right now yes it feels like conflict or it feels uncomfortable or it feels like the two of you are disconnected but use this energy to focus on yourself instead because i do feel like there will be uh, an opportunity for you either for you to reach out to the, this person and they might respond to what it is that you say or there will be an, a time and an opportunity for them to reach out and connect with you okay um but i feel like sit on it for a little bit with temperance sit on it or sleep on it for a little bit because i feel like there's no need to be hasty here and that's the other thing this person is someone who doesn't rush through things they take their time that might frustrate you or the, or you might really appreciate that depending on which um, spectrum you're on which scale you're on here um this person has gifted you something that I feel like is very important to you. Some sort of necklace or some sort of pendant or a ring or engagement ring or promise ring. Or, what, or was wanting to gift you with something very important. Something that they, I think this person um, paid a hefty price tag for. Or something that I feel like is going to, is or will be going to be very sentimental um, to you in the future here. So not only will they reach out, I feel like they're also wanting to... They're going to want to come towards you and let them know that and let you know that they're sincere and they're committed above all you know they're, they're committed to keeping this commitment with you and to pursuing this connection here the star there is something here that needs to be healed okay with the star and i feel like someone he needs to heal the, the conflict or the past hurt or the situation here or they need to do a lot of healing themselves whether it's you whether it's this person's or whether you know this person's energy or whether it's the both of you there is some healing some transformation that needs to take place it could be inner healing it could honestly be healing a past wound or healing what was said or done um, between the two of you here but that is very important that needs to take place here okay because I feel like if you don't heal whatever this is the the wound is going to reopen and continue to fester now we just want advice here so we do we did mention that this person will be reaching out to you for some of you it could be during the spring or the summertime depending on which part of the world you're in um, but I also feel like they're not only reaching out, they've either got a very strong message to deliver to you or something uh, or like a gift. So let's go ahead and take a look at your advice here. You've got the two of pentacles and the ace of cups. Okay, so, you know, again, more earthly energy here. Look, they're in, they're, they're in two minds about it. They've been thinking... They've been thinking about reaching out to you, but then they don't. So they sort of put together a text message, but then they don't send it off. They sort of think about you, but then they... Get, you know they get to realizing that they spend too much time thinking and wondering about things and then they try to distract themselves it's like they're in two minds about things and it's like there's a lot of inconsistencies here um, with their thinking here so they're really trying to make um, logical sense of all of this they're really trying to take a practical approach here. they're trying to weigh things up here not not necessarily all emotionally but I feel like they're trying to use both the head and their heart maybe leaning more towards their head here um, I don't feel like this person wants to repeat past actions, although I do feel like there is something here that's been repeated. For some of you, you've been here before, right? You've been here before. Maybe you've been here before one too many times. There's a sense of repetition here and here. Um, I do feel like this person is coming in with something very emotional to tell you. So I do feel like there will be communication, something very emotional that might drive you or move you to tears here. Um, this person might open up and tell you that they love you or they are falling in love with you or um, if it's not an emotional message it is some sort of sweet gesture that i feel like will move you to tears as i mentioned some sort of promise ring or a pendant that might have belonged to to them or someone that they loved and or they might have bought something that you've mentioned in passing and they've always held on to that something here that i feel like is going to move drive you to tears here something very sweet sentimental something very moving Notice how the Ace of Cups, you know, this is the gift that they're giving you. The gift of love or, you know, the gift of promise here, the gift of reconciliation. And you're the Ace of Cups. You're so open and so willing to receive this. So much so that you're flowing with joy um, or tears. Even if they are tears, they're tears of happiness. They're tears that have moved something inside of you. Okay, guys, and there you have it. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, commenting, or sharing. 
I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings throughout the um, week, so stay tuned. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, guys, take care, keep safe, and I'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.